Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of multiplying decimals. This is standard 5.3e in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 7 off the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a bucket of gravel that has a mass of 7 and 5 hundredths kilogram, and what is the mass of 20 buckets of gravel in kilograms? So let's draw a strip diagram to see what we're doing here. So we have our total, that's our unknown up here. And so we've got 20 buckets of gravel, so if we wanted to we can draw 20 little boxes, but that's going to be quite a bit, so let me just draw this. So this is one bucket, and there's going to be 20 of them, 20 times. So that lets us know that we do need to multiply these two numbers. We're going to take that 705, and we're going to multiply it 20 times. So we can actually go ahead and estimate this to give us at least a clear idea of what we're doing. Let's take a look at my 705. 7 and 5 tenths. If I wanted to round it to the nearest whole number, the nearest ones place. I can look at it like this, and that zero is obviously not going to change that seven, so this would round down to just seven. So seven and five hundredths is really close to just plain old seven. And if we wanted to multiply that by 20, just to give us an estimate as to what our answer is going to be near, well we actually see that that's going to go ahead and give us our answer really quickly. So take a look at this we can multiply by our multiples of 10 hundred or thousand trick so when we see that 20 has got a zero at the end what we're going to do is we're just going to multiply the non-zero numbers so seven times two that's going to make 14 and then we add the zero back in and that's the trick we learn about multiplying by multiples of 10 hundred or thousand so it looks like my answer is 140 as my estimate and so that makes me think D is probably my answer. That's the only one that's even close. B is kind of close. Uh, A has got the right digits, but is not at the right decimal point. It's 14.1 rather than 141. So let's do the actual multiplication to double check. 7 and 5 tenths, 5 hundredths, excuse me, multiplying by 20. Now, when we multiply by decimals, here's the trick. We ignore the decimal, at least while we're multiplying. Pretend like it's not there. So we're just going to pretend it's a 3 by 2 multiplication, 705 times 20. We'll bring that decimal back in once we get to our product. So this first row is easy. That's going to be 0, 0, 0. Multiplying by zeros is easy. So now we're going to put a 0 in the tens place. Now we're going to do the actual multiplication with this 2. So 2 times 5 is 10. So we're going to carry that. 2 times 0 is 0. Add that one back in is 1. And then 2 times 7, there's your 14. So when we add this up, it looks like we have a really, really large answer of 14,100. But now we bring our decimal back in. So remember we had our decimal right here, 7.05 or 7 and 5 hundredths. What we do is we count how many digits are behind the decimal in the factors. So I've got one, I've got two digits behind the decimal in this factor, and I don't have any digits behind the decimal over there because the decimal would be right there on 20. So if I've got two digits behind the decimal in the factors, I need to bring the decimal in once, twice, so that there are two digits behind the decimal in the product, and that's how we multiply by decimals. So there's my answer, 141, which is going to be D, and that does make sense because if I wanted to break this apart, right, if I wanted to do 20 times 7.05, if I wanted to kind of break this apart, we know that my 7 times 20 is 140, and then if I did my 0 0.05, times the 20. Well, that's the value of a nickel. I know that 20 nickels make a dollar, so add that together, you're going to get your 141D. 